Hello guys, welcome to Today Hustle. In today's episode, we'll be learning how to use CapCut on our mobile devices. Let's get into the process. To do that, you have to download CapCut on your mobile device. You go to Apple Store or you go to um, Play Store. I'm on Play Store right now, I will search for CapCut. From the result, CapCut is the second one with a black camera icon. You click on install, I already have the app on my device so i don't need to install it again when you do that you allow it to install when the installation process is done you will click on open when you open it you sign into CapCut with your google account then you get to this background this is the general background for CapCut. when you sign in you will see this background on your mobile device when you open CapCut. So you see the new project, you see some other tools there, photo edit, text to image, you have a lot of them. So to start a new project, you have to click on this new project. We'll go ahead and click on new project. Now, you will see many videos that you want to edit here when you click on the new project. So I will select this one for now. You can click as many as possible. Then you click on the add button. You can see I only selected one, then I will add it. This is a video I added. I can decide to review it by scrolling it. All right. On the top, you can see four different icons. You can see the cancel, a little fire icon, then the resolution icon, then the exporting icon. The canceling icon is just for you to cancel the project and go back to the, the, the initial layout that you saw. Then the second one is uh, for desktop uh, cap cut. We don't need it for now. The next one is the resolution. When you click on it, you can see the resolution, you can see the frame rate, you can see the code rate. You can decide to increase or reduce the resolution of your video. Then the next one up here is for the exporting. When we finish editing all our videos, we can easily export it by clicking on that exporting icon. Now, getting back to our video, when you play the video, I don't want the sound, so I will cancel it. You can see the video here. The video, okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and add text to this particular video that we have here. But before we add text, you can see that there are some parts that are not necessary and they are just taking long. The part whereby the camera is viewing from the, the down to the top of the person we are seeing here. So we have to trim that part. To trim that part, we click on the particular video. You will see a little white icon surrounding it, the video down here in the form of a border. Then you click on it, click and hold. Then you drag and reduce it reduce it to the point where you want it to be okay let's just say we want it to capture from here it's a little bit faster so we'll leave it from there you can see that we were able to trim it so when we play it it was now faster than the initial one you can see um kind of a redo icon or take it back when you click on it it will undo sorry it's a kind of the undo button so everything that you did maybe you just made a little mistake and you don't want it to happen you can decide to undo it so i will trim it again by clicking and holding that little icon trim it's too much bring it back trim it from here i think it's okay here we'll be adding text now to this particular video that we have here you determine where you want the text to be placed by scrolling to the position where you want the text to be so i will start my own from the beginning then i will click on text add text it will bring out a text box and your keyboard will be up automatically then i will say fashion just see hi fashion so we we'll write my luxury fashion that's the name of this fashion okay 
Now, you can see that the background we are having for this particular video is interfering with our text that we just introduced to the video. So, to edit the text, what we have to do is to click on the text we have down here, then we'll click on style. This white background, you see fonts, you can choose any font of your choice depending on what you want to use to suit your brand. I will just select this. Okay, and I'll go to style and choose red. Will red be okay? I think red is okay. More better than than the white that we had before. So I will go with red. Then let's work on animation for the text. How we want it to come in. This is not bad. This is okay too. Or we use this depending on the animation you want to use. We have a lot of them here just give a better look to your video which one this is not bad too but i will go with the first one i selected which is this then i will click on good the size is too big then i will have to reduce it i will go to the text on the screen can see the two icons here one is looking like pencil then the other one like crop i will click and hold then reduce the size okay and bring it down here it's okay now next thing we can add to this text is bubbles let me click on bubble when you look down here you see bubble i will click on it. just kind of a background background icon for the for your your text okay can choose anyone here choose okay i think this one is okay i'll now click on good then expand it expand it to reduce it a bit then keep it somewhere here i think it's okay here right now let's play the video and see the results okay this is not bad okay this is not bad so you can expand the text if you want it to cover the whole video you click that little white icon that border and you can expand it to the limit where you want it to go if you want it to be till the end of the video you can bring it here it's okay here so you can leave it here so when you play your video that particular text will be there to the end of the video see it's there it's there it's there it's there it's there okay i think this is okay right now let's just leave it to the end of the video we can also increase the speed of this particular video by clicking on the video and you can when you look down here you see speed you click on speed you click on normal you can increase it let's play it and see the speed okay see the speed now just increased but the speed is too much here it's too much too much too much let's reduce it let's reduce it and let's look at this one for now okay i think this is okay it's much better than the two two x is okay so let's use this by clicking on good this is okay right now then we can go back another thing that you can do is to split this particular video you can split and delete if there is a part that you don't just want to uh, crop you can down you see split you click on split and this is the one we just splitted you can see it's now different from the other one so we can easily delete this part that we splitted by clicking on it then go down here you click on it you go down you see delete so we've deleted it so when we start this video again we won't see that particular part again right now let's adjust our text so this key is okay here that part is no longer there again so we just splitted it then edit it then delete it sorry this is okay 
so we are done splitting that video up next we can add we can add audio to our video that is a background sound or the sound to suit the the video that we are addicting but before we do that we, after our video you see is what red line that went up to the end of the video that is our text the text you are seeing there the, the text there so you can decide to edit it the way you can edit it is by clicking on text when you look down here you see called audio then text when you click on text that your particular text will come down so that you can easily edit it when you click on it you can easily edit it and change a lot of things there so that is all for this so the next thing we can do here is to click on the background come back here and click on audio you can click add audio or you come down here and click audio anyone can go so i'll click on add audio i will see sound case loading now you see a lot of sounds or audios that CapCut already have with them if you want to upload sounds from your from your device you click on the file icon then go to my deform device then you can select any audio of your choice from your device but for now we we'll just use CapCut's um, sounds here let me go back so we sound okay I can select anyone here when I listen to it and I like it I will just download it okay there we have varieties of them here so you can select anyone of your choice here okay let me just get anyone from beats here when you listen to it some of them they are very loud so I'll just collect on so I will click on add but the sound is too much if you observe something the audio is not aligning with the beginning of our video so when you click on our video before that audio will start playing. so the audio didn't start with our video so we can click and hold the audio then drag it to the beginning of our video okay so i'll have to mute this audio sound just clicking on it when, when you want to edit the sound of the audio because the volume is too much when you you click on the audio then you look down here you click on volume you will reduce the volume is too much too much okay let's listen to it again i think it's okay but we can also reduce it like reduce it to what will suit our video Okay, so we can take it a little bit down. Let's look into it again. Okay, this is okay. We can work with it. It's not bad at all. So up next, we we'll click on good. If you want to delete this audio, you click on audio. If you also want to split the audio, you can click on the audio. Okay, you click on audio and split it. You see, you can split the audio itself. Maybe there is a little part that you don't want to reflect on your video. You click and split it. So you can split the audio too, not only the video. The, the audio can also be splitted. So next thing we'll be doing, we'll go back. Next thing we'll be doing is to work on the stability of our video. Maybe when you were taking the video of the one you are addicting, the camera was shaking you click on the video then you go this way and look for stability somewhere here see okay stabilize we'll click on it when you click on it you can decide to increase it a bit to just stabilize it a bit okay here let's stabilize your video it may take a little longer process but you can edit your video in the way so is stabilizing it and it's counting over here so that any form of um, camera shaking can be addicted when you finish this it will load up to 100 when you reach 100 then it will stabilize the video now let's click on good and check the video again okay. so we are getting something out of this the camera is no longer shaking that way the video is stabilized you can increase it up to recommend level depending on what you want to so oh, let's trim this our audio so hold it and trim it it's too much too 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 much like too much you have to trim it down trim it down to suit the video so that it to end where that it to end where the video end 
okay i think this is okay here so let's see it again let's see where the audio so another thing we have to do this audio is to fade it let's click on it click the audio fade the fade out because it's not feeding anything so we'll click on fade out you can see it's adjusting the frequency i just move it okay 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 let's listen to it here. you see it's now good like that it's fade out okay you we'll click on good this is okay right now the next thing we'll be doing is to add overlay now, how you do that is you go to the video you can determine the particular place where you want the overlay to come in okay i just say here i'll click on overlay and click add overlay i can use any video or any picture as my overlay okay let me see if i have any here okay i'll use this picture as my overlay i'll click on add okay okay our overlay is in form of a picture here so this is it we can adjust it okay let's click on it and drag it drag it to any position it's almost the same thing with the background video reduce the size we can use our two hands on it and drag it out or in so we can keep it anywhere or we can just keep it this way okay just for some seconds of the video the video is still playing and this one can be here okay it's still not bad like this okay I just adjust it like this and keep it where okay this is okay let's add animation to it See this animation here or we can use this let's see how it looks when we play the video here okay. we can do more thing to this expand it let's blind it blend it okay Okay, blending is not okay so that it to blend with the other one okay let me see how it looks let's try this out okay. it's blended with that one it's not bad let's blend it again let's go back to blend let's see if we can use another one okay no no no, no. this is not good I think this is okay this one is okay here Okay, let's just click on it again. It's okay like this. Alright, let's see what we got here. So this is not bad. This is how overlay works. When that sound is going on, or maybe you are shooting a particular video, you are educating people. As you are talking, you want to be flipping some pictures. You can add the series of the pictures you want to flip in form of overlay. In form of overlay, you are still talking, and the pictures that you are talking about can be flipping. So this is how we do it. So I can decide to adjust it up to the end of this video, but it's too much. I just want to shut here for three seconds. Is okay. Okay, let's play it again. This is okay. This is okay like this. It's okay. So let's manage it that way. The next thing we'll be doing is to add transitions to your video okay we can click on plus here the plus here so that we can get another video that we can transit to okay let's use this all right this is good here oh okay we can use it so let's get transition you can see this icon in between the video like the former one and the one i just added you click on it when you look down you see transition so the transition is loading we have a lot of them here a lot of transition depending on what you want ok 
okay so light effects you can see we have many transitions so let me use this let me see how it looks yeah let's get it again mm, it's too fast but it's not bad you can decide to change it to anyone okay mm, let's try this one out just use a good a short one okay let's try this okay this is not bad but i want us to trim it a bit so that we can remove this process here we'll click on it then we drag it from here and trim it oh it was too much so let's reduce it and end it here okay let's get it again this is okay so you see we're able to add transition to our video so guys before we export this video i will show you how you can remove a particular background to your video or a particular picture that you are editing so i'll be adding let me click on this plus here i'll just add a particular photo and i'll click on add okay it added the photo for me here this is it and let's just say i don't like this background i will click on the photo and i will come here you see this cut out i will click on cut out remove background i will click it if you can see now it has removed the background for me so i can use it like let's just say my background is not neat and i don't want to use the background i'm trying to teach people something and i don't like the background i can easily remove the background okay so that is all with the background here it's not hard so let's just add another transition here let's add something here okay let's click this and add the transition so let's watch the video from the from beginning to end okay this is what we we're able to do so far you can see the video is looking very good okay that is our overlay okay now oh you i don't know if you noticed something our sound just ended here so let's extend this sound okay let's extend it to up to the end to the end let's leave it here so it's okay let's watch it again okay the video the text is still there you can decide to add a lot of text depending on where you want to put it and the information you want to pass this is our overlay okay if you look at the transition we remove the background for this particular picture and we add a transition here so you can do a lot of videos for your brand you can do it for others you charge them so you see that our video is very neat and it's okay this is the ending part so the video is very good so lastly i will teach you how you can export this video to export it look up that icon um opposite the resolution you click on it you ex you export it to your phone so this is the exporting process you allow it to load loading it to take a little bit time just to load and that's all for it So now this particular video we just edited is ready to share. You can share it to Instagram, to story, to WhatsApp, or you click on others. Click on others. You can export it to your photos, depending on. But when you go to your gallery, you see this particular video. Let's go to my gallery. Let's see it now. So it's asking us which social media platform do you often use to post videos? Okay. We just want to go to our photos and check it out this is it my photos that's the video very neat our video is ready you can decide to share it to your friends on whatsapp and other social media handle okay, let's go back here 
so guys i believe today's um section was very interesting and for more of these videos you can go ahead subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you'll be among the first people to get our videos whenever we release it bye guys